Okay, you do not want to look away for two seconds because we have so much great information coming up for you in the next couple of minutes. It's time to swap the snow blower for the lawn mower and start getting your lawn in gear for spring. Ken Zawicki from Petiti Garden Centers joins us now from our Fox 8 Garden with some great tips on kind of waking up your lawn and uh, from that long winter hibernation and sleep. Ken, it's always good to see you. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Uh, we're okay. So um, maybe our lawns are not, though. It's been a long winter, a harsh winter. A lot of people had a lot of snow sitting on their grass for so long. So what are some tips to start doing right now to kind of wake things up? Sure. Well, we've got some great weather. Um, getting out in your lawn this time of year, you know, a little bit of prevention, a little bit of effort now will pay big dividends through the spring and the summer. Um, ideally, the first thing you want to do is get out and rake your lawn. Um, I've been raking here a little bit. You can see the, the pile of just debris that I was able to pull out, dead grass clippings, leaves from last fall. Um, getting all that out of the lawn and exposing the soil is, you know, is what you want to do is ideal. That'll make a lot of the other products and a lot of the other things you're going to do to the lawn work much better. Does it matter what um, kind of we... rake you use? Um, you want to get something that's nice and stiff, um, okay. some good tines to it to kind of just you know, get down to the soil and, and pull all that out. Ideally, you want to be able to see the soil through the grass. That's, that's ideal. Um, once you've got it raked really well, the first thing you want to do is put down some lime. Um, there's a product called Lightning Lime that works much faster. There's a lot of limes on the market, but Lightning Lime works a lot faster than your, your typical limes. They're working about four to six weeks, where the other limes, you know, take six, eight months before they're, they're fully active. Adding the lime will raise the pH of the soil and it really it gives your fertilizer a boost. It lets the grass take up the fertilizer um, even better, more so, and makes it just a lot more effective. Um, now is a great time to get into your first step of fertilizer. Your first step is a crabgrass preventer. It's going to have a food to feed your lawn, get it rich and green and growing, and then it's going to have that crabgrass preventer. What happens is, is a lot of our seeds, or a lot of our weeds come back from seed every year. So what you're going to want to do is you get the crabgrass preventer down. It creates a film over the soil, and then any seeds that land in that film, you know, are kind of killed off. They can't germinate and establish, and then that'll really cut down on your weed problems later on in the summer. Um, there's two types of step one. There's one specifically for seeding. So if you're going to be overseeding your lawn or seeding bare patches, you want to use a step one for seeding because it will not harm the grass seed. Your regular step one um, will harm the grass seed as well, and you kind of waste your money on the seed if you pick up the wrong product. Um, if you have to do some overseeding or you've got some bare spots, uh, a good high quality grass seed mix. You want to pick something that's good for the sun and the sun environment in that location. So you want to pick something that's, you know, if it's sunny, pick a good sunny mix. If it's shady, get a shade mix. If you have a lot of bare spots, um, there's a product, Easy Seed by Scott's. It has the soil that you need, it has fertilizer and the seed, it's all in one. So it makes it real easy. You just put it down on the bare spot and it comes up and just starts growing within you know three to four weeks or so. Um, lastly, moss is a big problem in a lot of lawns. Moss will grow where other plants or grass will not grow. Um, moss is really easy to kill off, but it's very difficult to keep it from coming back. Um, if you wet the moss and you put the moss sacks down, it'll within two weeks the moss will turn yellow and then eventually black. When the moss is black, you can kind of just rake it away and then you can go ahead and seed into those areas. Um, generally, if moss is growing, it's because the soil is either too wet, too shady, or too acidic in that location. So ideally, you want to work to change some of those cultural, you know, environments, if you will, so that, you know, eventually the grass will get established and, you know, it'll kind of choke out the moss in time. I love um, that. All of these practices... Go ahead. Sure, all these practices are cultural. So, you know, by doing these routinely year after year um, and, and doing them when you're supposed to do them, um, it'll just get your grass thicker, more lush, and then it'll help you kind of combat weed problems in the future. Sounds great. Is this a time now, Ken, to start throwing the hydrangeas and the flowers, that Osmocote? Yeah, um, you can definitely start fertilizing now, yes. Okay. Plant tone um, for your perennials, a holly tone for your evergreens, um, and then you know, you'll use Osmocote cool. on your annuals and, and things like that. Okay, so, yeah, what did you say for the evergreens? Holly tone, is that what you said? Uh, yeah, there's. Yeah, there's a great organic fertilizer called Hollytone, and it's excellent um, to feed your evergreens. So if you've got boxwoods, azaleas, okay. rhododendrons, junipers, 
um, you want to use halitone for all that. Just wrote that one down on my list. I'll get that too and throw out that with the Osmo coat and get everything looking nice. Ken, thanks. Always a great job. We appreciate all your time and effort. Thank you so much. Appreciate and it. And if you have any questions for AJ or Ken, please send them to us through our website, fox8.com. Make sure you just look at the link there. And uh, we're going to send things over here to Todd.